morning, free birds. So today I gotta go and see a man about a horse. Not really. I'm gonna see a woman about a horse, but that's not until much later today. First, I'm gonna stop and see my friend Dave. Remember Dave, the one with the Emmy Award? What? Institution. Sound familiar? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go by and I'm gonna see Dave. First turn right thing, on Sherman Way. Okay, I'm gonna turn right on Sherman Way. The first thing I want to say though is hello to you guys, and I hope that today you are having a fabulous, fantastic, and amazing time wherever you are and whatever your plans are to do today. Um, can you do me a favor and click that little bell on the subscribe button? Just bang the bell and make my day, okay? That way, oh, I'm under a bridge, make a wish, close my eyes. Oh wait, I can't close my eyes, I'm driving. Okay, I had to make a wish. <laughs> podcast, and I'm gonna learn a little bit more about the microphones and the things to use for a podcast. Also, I wanna put out a vote for you guys, and so you can tell me what name you like better for my podcast. There's two names that I have come up with so far. The first name is uh, Naked Pop. I thought that would be good for like, you know, raw pop culture. Feet. Turn left. Um, and then the second name is Mental Cocktails. <laughs> Get it? Cock, T-A-L-E-S, Cocktails. Um, mental Cocktails or Naked Turn. Write in the comments below which of those two names that you like. Here they are again. The first one is Naked Pop and the second one is Mental Cocktails. You do not have to live in Beverly Hills to have a really cool um, house. The belly's got badass shit. Horse talk. Remember Mr. Ed, the horse that talked? Hello. I'm Mr. Ed. Wouldn't it be cool if like horses really could talk? Oh, I'm gonna see some chickens and some swans and a horse and who knows what else. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you and horse he always gives. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you and horse he's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Ed. Okay, so again today we're gonna be going up onto this mountain, up into the hills, and um, right now we're down here. This is the valley. Up there is the Hollywood Hills. Kardashian's house right here. This house. And it's for sale. Oh. Only for a few million. You you too could be the proud owner of the Kardashian house. Hello. Hi, it's Amber.
that I found on the farm. Oh, maybe they're haunted. When I was a little girl, I, um, for just like a little while, my parents, they owned the movie theater, The Ballyhoo, in Smithfield, Utah, which is like a really, really small town outside of Logan, Utah, which is another really, really small town. And I have no idea how my parents came upon owning this movie theater, but one of the movies that they showed at that theater was The Man from Snowy River. And I fell in love with horses at that time. And I would sit there in that theater up on the balcony. It's one of those old theaters that had like the balcony on the top where the people would sit up on the balconies and stuff. But I would just sit up there and I would watch the horses and I would just think like, oh my God, someday I just wanna like ride a horse and be free and like listen to the music that they had and the sound of, oh, it was just the sound. It was just like so amazing of the thunderous like horses. I Something about it really feels it seems magical to me and I don't know if it's because I was just you know a kid looking up on a big screen of the horses and not actually like out you know with real horses you know cleaning up poop or anything but I just love 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 horses so I haven't really had like a lot of opportunities to ride horses though that's the thing so if you see me ever up on a horse then you should know I'm probably not very comfortable up there and I don't know, I, I am very happy though. If I'm on a horse, I'm really happy, just probably uh, scared out of my mind, you know. It's scary to try new things. Even if you love them and wanna do them, it's scary, but riding a horse is something that I want. And if you guys remember, I showed you I have a picture of a horse on my dream board. And so even if I'm not riding a horse, even if I'm just like petting a horse, brushing a horse, talking to a horse, whispering to a horse, it's, it's about just connecting with animals, and I love animals so much more than I like people. part about all of it is just like when I leave like the confines of the gates of the farm I am right back out in the middle of, of all of the chaos of everything. Okay what else do I want to tell you guys? I just want to say how grateful I am today to be able to spend some time with some animals and just to not think about any of the crazy things that I need to do, any of the projects that I need to finish or vlogs I need to edit or subscribers I need to get or anything else. I just had a moment to just relax and be around nature and animals and love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thanks for being a part of it with me. If you liked this video, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe by hitting that bell, bang the bell!